A life on the ocean waves sounds relaxing and maybe even romantic, right? Well, not always, because the water has more idiots on it than it has fish in it. You know that door, the one in the boat? Well, yeah, don't open it. People on jet skis don't care about anything. Boats, sea life, grandmas. Grandma! She's so This is the kind of thing you can only get away with once. The universe isn't usually kind to idiots in boats. And now, for once in this video, an idiot gets stopped by a sensible person. Here's proof that a man can love his phone just as much as any living creature. If you're watching this video, we assume you already know this, but we're going to say it anyway. Boats need water. Ah, uh, there's nothing like a romantic boat ride with the woman you love and the chance to drown them. To steal a line from Jaws, we're gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> when a relaxing boat cruise turns into a blind panic. This guy was expecting a catfish but got a little bit more than he bargained for. Never prank another man during his toilet break. That's his personal pranking time. If you want to see what a dedicated fisherman looks like? Then watch this. This might surprise you, but these men are not professional sailors. do a wheelie in your boat. For starters, they don't even have wheels. It's important to have balance in your life. And, you know, just generally. <laughs> Holy qualified captain, we got a big old tarpon on. This dude's coming in on autopilot. Yo! Apparently, it's not just cars that cut each other up. Hope it doesn't cut us off. What in the actual hell? Wake up! This is either a really bad crew or a really good example of sea rage. You know that dick who drives down your road at midnight at about 120 miles an hour? Well, this is him in a boat. Even the dogs aren't impressed with her doggy paddle. Here's why you should figure out how to get into the boat before you get out of it. Should boats be filled with airbags? The woman on the right definitely thinks so. In fairness, even though he hit the pier, at least he missed the grandma. Here's someone who doesn't know where they want to go, which is never great when you're also being followed. Is that their little boat? If your diver down flag is up, then other boats are obliged to give you plenty of space, which this guy completely did not. Category four storm, you say? Maybe I'll go out in my boat. Here's a fun thing you can do on board, moron spotting. Who could ever need to send a letter this badly? This boat seriously needs some side mirrors installed. If you're gonna do something really humiliating, like uh, sinking your truck, then try to avoid doing it live on ABC News. Right. 
No matter how big the ship, the captain or captains should always go down with it. <laughs> Having a watertight boat is great most of the time, but not when it rains. Here's the definition of all the gear, no idea. So we've all seen videos with cars ending up in water. Here's the opposite. That's not supposed to I know what's wrong with it. Ain't got no gas in And you've heard of drunk driving? Well, this may just be drunk sailing. If you're gonna buy hundreds of dollars of fuel, then you might wanna make sure you put it in the right hole. I thought this was the petrol. After spending $200,000 on a boat, you don't really want to smash the outriggers on a bridge. If you don't think AI is dangerous, then just look at how it controls a boat. These boats couldn't be any closer if they were deeply in love. Yeah, I'm just randomly crashing into other boats, because nobody seems to care about that here. Considering these boats are normally used in alligator-infested swamps, this is not good. How not to treat a motor, lesson one. Anchor's stuck, but you still really want to go fishing? Well, why not bring out the chainsaw? When she tells you that it's her, the beer, or the boat. You know the phrase, women and children first? <laughs> well, this guy doesn't. And now a man who finds himself up the creek without a paddle, and then doesn't get the paddle back. Not good. Not good. Not good. Despite being a paddle boarder. I got it. I'm pushing it. Ah, uh, there's nothing like a relaxing weekend at the lake, when the lake feels like a freeway at rush hour. And speaking of lakes, here's a man who's determined to get there, and no height restriction sign is gonna stop him. when the entertainment is better outside the bar. The boating community is united by one thing, urination pranks. A real David and Goliath situation, except in this case, David definitely couldn't win. They say that only women can multitask, but this guy managed to ruin his car and his boat at the same time. Yeah, you guys just sit in the boat and relax. We'll push you back in. The most shocking part of this footage is that she says, it's really low today. Today? No bueno. <laughs> it's almost like getting drunk on a small boat isn't a good idea. <laughs> At first, you might think that this guy is running to help, but he's just realizing his fishing rod is down there waiting to be crushed. <laughs> no way. If you see this truck for sale online, then we'd advise you viewing it in person first. There might be a slight, damp smell. This guy's dad told him to take his little brother out on the boat, and he kindly obliged. If you genuinely know how to retrieve a boat from the water, then you'll enjoy spending a while pointing and laughing at these guys. So, not an Olympic diver then? You don't often see this outside of a movie, a police chase on the water. 
You know that feeling when you see something that just shouldn't be there? If your politics lean too far to the right, then your boat might as well. Another example of David and Goliath, only this time Goliath's a real douchebag. Have you seen the Disney movie Tangled? Well, this is a bit like that, but with more water and rich people and anger. The marine version of drag racing. Yeah, the thing about bathtubs is that they're really good at being filled with water. This ferry needs to get its brakes checked. Here's an idiot on a jet ski getting too close to a ship, like an idiot, and then nearly drowning, like an idiot would do. Who needs a boat trailer? Not this guy. We're gonna go out on a limb and say that this was his first time in a boat. Never mind sailing one. Oh shoot, oh shoot! It's hard to know what's going on here, but we're just going to say that it probably takes quite a few trips round in a circle before you can drop all of the illegal things you're carrying. These idiots got a rental boat stuck under a bridge because they underestimated the water level. You know, like idiots. Lose a few pounds or <laughs> buy a new boat. Don't floor it! Don't floor it! God dang! Going by the man shouting, don't floor it, we're gonna assume he floored it. Oh. Oh. You have to be fast when you're bass fishing. The bass find it very rude if you show up late. Just in case you haven't noticed the title of our video, see if you can count how many times this guy says idiot. Wow, what an idiot. What a goddamn idiot this guy is. Remember those endless summer days when you were young and how you used to sink your boat for fun? Part boat, part gymnast. This is clearly captained by a guy who was inspired by the captain of the Titanic. It's great to be out in nature and kill most of it with your diesel fumes. Crashing a bachelorette party in more ways than one. In a boat, you should only be surrounded by blue wet stuff and not green leaf-based stuff. Well, we've come to the end of our collection of water-based idiots, so why not leave Akimbo drowning in new subscribers?